I've failed to learn machine learning in the last four years, but in the last two months, I was finally able to do it. And I want to share my lessons to help people who are in the position that I was in just a couple of months ago. If you're a dev or you don't have a heavy background in math and you're trying to pick up machine learning, this video series is going to be for you. With the beginner lessons still fresh in my head, I hope to help as many people as possible start their machine learning journey. And hopefully at the end of all this, you're going to have a fully trained model that you know how to use. You're going to be able to go from raw data to training a model to using that model uh, to make predictions all building blocks to helping you figure out machine learning, maybe for your jobs, maybe for your side projects. I'm gonna try to share my knowledge using as little math and technical jargon as possible. Don't get me wrong, math is super important to machine learning, but as a beginner, you don't need much of it. When I finally learned machine learning, it was much easier to focus on blindly training a model and then improving it little by little, learning math piece by piece. And most importantly, I think it would be super cool if we could just build a little community helping each other learn and grow. So why am I doing all this? Uh, let me let me tell you my story. I've worked at a startup that literally built machine learning products. The startup hired PhDs and masters in computer science, people who had an expertise in mathematics, people that had a lot of theoretical background. Every time I would ask them a question or try to Google online for some resources, I would get the same thing. Lots of math, lots of definitions, lots of technical terms, uh, you know, start at the fundamentals and build up. The thing is I have an electrical engineering background. I've learned my calculus, my linear algebra, statistics. I'm not afraid of the math, but it was just so annoying having to look up 10 different things just to learn one simple thing. None of the online or traditional resources ever worked for me. So I kept giving up. But in the last two months, I was successful in learning machine learning. You see, as devs, especially in web and cloud, we're not taught to think mathematically. Many of us don't have a technical degree, strong foundations in math. We can't learn from that vantage point. You know how we started learning? We copied and pasted some code, ran it, saw that it did something. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. When it didn't, we figured out why and made it work. Then we learned how to do all that, but better, faster, smarter. And you know what happens? We started understanding things little by little. Then we stopped copying and pasting and instead we started writing the code ourselves. And that is exactly how I successfully learned machine learning. And here is proof of my beginner success. I was able to obtain just a bit over 0.8 on Space Titanic on Kaggle, which is actually pretty hard to do. Rank one is currently at something like 0 0.828, uh, so I'm not that far off. All this to say that this is exactly how I'm gonna teach you the basics of machine learning. I'm not gonna tell you to first learn a bunch of math definitions, different types of machine learning algorithms, machine learning fundamental low-level concepts. We're just gonna get our hands dirty and learn along the way. I'm gonna help you train the worst model you'll ever train in your life, and then I'm to help you make it better little by little. Now, you might be wondering why put all this effort to help other people? Well, I've been making content for years. I've built a following of 140,000 followers on TikTok sharing software engineering and tech career tips. Let me tell you how many good things came out of that. I've met super cool people, many who have offered me jobs or other partnerships and opportunities. I've helped countless people break into tech or get promotions in their jobs. And when they DM me about it, it is absolutely fulfilling. I've also learned so many things from other people, either through DMs with people who know way more than me or from comments on my videos. And right now I want to go deeper in machine learning. And if I can build a community of people going through the same journey with the same frustrations, we can all help each other improve collectively, which makes learning a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more fun. Let me tell you, banging your head against the wall trying to learn something alone without any support, without anyone to talk to, without anyone to ask questions to, was the hardest thing in the world for me. I was drowning in a sea of information and I had no clue which direction to go. With a community, even if the other person doesn't have any knowledge, having someone to bounce ideas off of or to keep you motivated makes a world of a difference. Without it, there's like a 99% chance you'll give up. I know firsthand because I've given up so many times until now. But anyway, I'm excited to share my lessons. I'm excited to learn 
from others. And most importantly, I'm excited about building a community of people who want to get better at machine learning because like it or not, it is the future and the best time to start learning is now. If you're interested too, come along on this journey with me and let's have some fun. All right, that's all for now. Bye.